Hey everybody, you're watching Hey Ryo with me, Ryo, just another Midwest hay farmer showing you how to get stuff done. Well, as you can see right here behind me, this big boy's stuck. He's moved. He's out of uh, he's out of our way and in his resting spot till springtime. How did he get stuck, you ask? Well follow along and I'll show you how that happened. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy the, the video. If you could, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Help me out. Uh, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the notification so you don't miss out on future videos like this and what we got coming up. And, uh, you know, drop us a comment or uh, questions, concerns, anything you got. Just drop it down below. We'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get into it. Just drop my ratchet and my bolt. I hope that did not go down in there. Because if it went down in there, we are screwed. Well, change the plans. I gotta drain this. Which this little do doohickey has come in handy quite often because we're filling up that rear end, filling up that uh, that pumpkin carrier. I don't have to sit there and try to, uh, you know, sit there and pour out of this big bucket or you know transpose contents into here into a smaller one and then put that into that uh, I was using this on the smaller buckets a little gallon but it's it's a pain in the butt you go through but this all I gotta do is get it up and get it pumping and get the the suction right the vacuum right and I can just sit here and pump and add few, uh, gear oil and not have to worry about making a mess so things you learn and you do to, to work smarter, not harder, you know? This is not easy to do. Not by yourself, by a long shot. I think that's, that's on there. I 
that is on. All right, we got the rear right here. Wow, I'm shocked. All right, it says to start off with this, this back one first, you tighten this one down. I'm sorry if you're not gonna be able to see it, it's getting dark, but I'm gonna tighten this one down and then it moved to, you move to the middle one and it should keep it, the, those fingers and everything in line and in, in, uh, in order here to where it'll be, uh, whatchamacallit, it'll be uh, synchronized in line and won't give us any issues to where we won't have jammed up. And that's, I gotta fix here, I'll show you this. And don't worry, I have the bolts in my pocket so I'm not gonna lose them. But what was happening is this, these two, this had splines on it. And uh, this had splines and I don't, I'm not sure it was right, but uh, that kept coming off and slipping up, slipping up because it was uneven. And so my uncle rewelded all this and turned it down on the lathe. And uh, we're gonna hope that that solves the issue to where we will be able to shift. So I'm hoping I can get this thing running again tonight um, and we can get it moved and you'll be able to see it move. You can kind of see. And it's supposedly supposed to work these down to 20 to 25 foot pounds, but my brother's got my torque wrench, so I can't really torque and that probably is just a little past finger tight. And that's what we'll, we'll call it good. That's probably good. And as you probably noticed and can tell, there's not a lot of room under here for working to be done work to be done so it gets a little cramped up going to work on this hay truck for the third uh i'd say third day not third day in a row but third day we've uh i've had some trouble trying to get the uh the, i got the cover back on i first lost a bolt and then uh yeah it was a lot of fun well now my last problem is all right the ground's already frozen joy Okay, my, my problem now is that, that right there, only goes down to there and I need to get it, it's not, it's a little too wide. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna mic it out and we're gonna take it over to Lance's and we're gonna turn this down so that way I can fit because all I have right now is propane and it's not gonna be hot enough to uh, expand this joint out. And I really don't wanna expand this out too much, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna mic this out. Oops. I'm gonna mic this out and get this down to that. And then we'll take this. This is easy to take off versus that cover. I can just take these four bolts off and then take this whole piece off. All right, there we go. Now let me go get some tools. And we'll, we'll go from there. Ah, yeah. And hopefully we get this bad boy started and move today. It's great when you remember what tools you have. All right, let's get to it. Cows are laying down, soaking up the vitamin D. Those cows are munching.
this you can kind of see down in there maybe that uh right where my pinky is right right there right there there's a a wedge and there's a wedge inside this case right here which you can kind of see ah, there's a there's a wedge right there with a pin that rides down in and I'll show that in more detail here when we get over to Lance's I'm gonna go get this turned down and hopefully back in the truck Glow plugs in a can. Ah, good job. Should do it. Hey Riley, hey Riley, hey Riley, hey. Hey Tucker. Seven five oh. Seven five one. Yep, and it's not it's not doing that, is it? Nope, we're not there. Okay. That's what I thought. I mean, this was a booger to get up and out. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. There's the ball we we had to re-weld this and reshape this to make it work. Right there's those pins. They ride right there. We wallered that out. Riley, right, you're like Max. You gotta be in everybody's way. You gotta be in the middle there. Well, I tell you what, no, I can't. Leave dad for five minutes, he's sure. Uh, you go puppy. Sure wanders away from the house a lot. Eh? <laughs> okay.
That looked bad. That could be those pits you're hitting. No, oh, ain't there yet. Not quite. about do it. That was good. That's a pretty tight fit because there's you know there's not any flopping around but I, I just seem to stretch a little bit. It's a lot easier to try to keep that thing up and spreading it out. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you get that turned the right way. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Sits yeah. down in that cup, and then that, I think, hits down underneath one of those things. Is it stepped? That's you. Yeah. Ah, it's the boss. Yes, boss. All right, just a minute. I'm just almost finished with this. Okay, I'll be up there in a minute. Well, it's not step. Okay, this is the one that goes. I'm not sure I had them in the right place initially. You think? Uh, there's there's a certain place each one of them goes. Right, but I might have had them right. Remember, we fought this tooth and nail for this last time. Y'all know my problem with dropping bolts, so I'm putting them over there. I don't know the torque specs on this, but just tight enough will work. All right, comes the moment of truth. We are back in business. Let's see if we can get this bad boy started.
brake fluid's plumb dry, so the clutch ain't gonna work, and I need it out of gear. <clears throat> hey, my supervisor. What are you doing, buddy? That gave us a little bit of a clutch. Well, boys and girls, she's stuck. That's exactly why that inner tire is not touching. It don't got air, so it ain't got to wait, and I'm just sitting here spinning in this rut. Not good. Well, I got to get her unstuck and try to get her either back there or right over here. Let me go get the truck. Leave it to a gray <laughs> to get something stuck. Example A, and then get, well, okay. I'm not stuck here, but I'm an idiot. I'm sitting here trying to pull with this truck. It's got enough power, trust me. It Plenty of power, full drive, hugs locked in, locked in. It should pull it, but I'm sitting here, I was like, I'm spinning. Well, no doy. I, you saw, I couldn't get it into neutral. So it's obviously not gonna roll while it's in gear. So I'm pulling a heavy weight, sliding, no wonder I'm spinning. Duh. But, like I said, leave it to a gray, leave it to one of us. We're always, we're notorious for getting something stuck. Like, dad got the John Deere 4020 stuck way back over in the woods. We had to wait for the ground to refreeze and get that pulled out. Well, that's gonna about do it for this video probably. I've done a lot. I did get, I got it moved. It's not sitting over there anymore. But I set out to do what I wanted to do. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Drop me a comment while you're at it. You know, tell us what you think. Questions, comments, concerns, you know. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when I put out new stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Hey Ryo, just another Midwest hay farmer showing you how to get stuff done. See ya.